Hey guys, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is um, Thursday, I think. Yeah, it's Thursday at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, and that means it is time for a video tutorial, and I have a special surprise for you today. We're going to be looking, but let me uh, just double check that I'm transmittalating over here, because I'm not seeing my, I'm not seeing it showing up. Just a second, let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Nothing like going out into the ethernet and nothing is happening, right? Okay, good. All right, great. So I have a special sneak peek of a new set for you. I'm going to give you a little background here. So <clears throat> coming up in November, uh, like the 5th or 6th of November, we have an event called Onstage. And that is a, it's an event for demonstrators from all over. And in normal years, any year not 2021, we would all gather up in Salt Lake City or Atlanta or wherever, and we would have on stage, which is a great opportunity for us to all get together and sneak peek a new catalog and see all of our friends and learn some business tips and techniques. But this year, because it's, you know, 2020 and COVID, we've, uh, we're having it virtually coming up in a few weeks. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Uh, Diana, I know I'm excited. I think it's going to be really good. Hey B. Um, <clears throat> of course, everybody does want this. Yes. Um, so one of the, like the, I don't know, a consolation prize, I guess, is that we were all given an opportunity, all of us attending on stage, we were given the opportunity to purchase what is in fact a sneak peek of a suite a bundled suite that will be coming in the next mini catalog, the one that will come out January and last through June. So the next January to June mini catalog, which is just right around the corner, really, um, you're going to see this lovely suite of products, All right? So let me show you what it is. First off, there is a dimensional cover. Dragonfly Garden is the basis, and you can see it's beautiful. It's a cling stamp set, and I think this is one of the prettiest wildflower images I've seen in a long time. I love dragonflies anyway, but look, it comes with a punch where you get to, here, I'll turn it this way because it won't be so reflective. So you get a big punch dragonfly, which cuts both of these, and then you get a little mini one that cuts just little mini dragonflies, okay? Now, there's also some beautiful pepper. It is called Dandy Garden. Get it? Dandy Garden? Kind of like dandelion. Da okay, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Bree, this is B, this is a great, this is a great set. I love it a lot. So we're just gonna go through a little bit of the DSP so that you can see the colors. The uh the color suite is uh, Basic Black, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Mid Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, and Whisper White. And I think I've used almost all of those on my card today. So we'll just take a look. One of the things that's fun is it got this, so in case you need any ideas for coloring your dragonflies, here's a paper that does that. And then you can just see it's very organic, um, kind of muted colors, as you might expect from the color palette. Look at these little bees. <laughs> little bumblebee colored bees that makes perfect sense all right so this is a fun set it's six by six which is my favorite size really i do love six by six dsp sets and the um the, the designs are gorgeous so i think this is going to be really fun to work with um, there is also how many of you love how many of you love this 3 16 inch braided linen trim. I love this, I love it a lot. Well, the good news is with this suite, whoa, you get some of that, you can get that in Mossy Meadow. What? Mossy Meadow 3 16 inch braided linen trim. Yes, please, yes, please. All right, and the final thing that is so fun, and I really wanted to use this on my card today, but I just couldn't make it, I just couldn't force it, okay? Are these little tiny ladybug trinkets. Now look at these little guys. All right, let me see what I'm showing you. How cute are those little dudes? Couldn't you just see those popped up with a 
with a dimensional on a card, a little mini dimensional. Oh, so cute. I can see using a lot of those, a lot. Okay, but let's go ahead and make a card. I've made this for you today. And with luck, I have everything cut out, but my last few times I haven't done so good, so we never know. And then on the inside, I've just um, left it blank except for a little bit of a design. And, of course, I did the same on my envelope. So let's get started. Okie doke, okie doke. Sarait, sarait. Okay, okay. All right. So I've got all the cut card cuts. This will all be in my blog tomorrow, so you don't need to worry about it. I actually do have a card base. I've got an envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and um, score and fold my card base like a shoe. Hey, Kathy. Yes, we all love... I will take... I, I just would like Stampin' Up! to know. I would take linen thread in every color we have. Certainly, yes, in every color we have. Let's just go with that. And I even like this 316 size so much. Let's go with that too. So if I could just have every color we have in both those th those uh, trims, that would be a great thing. Okay, so I have a crumb cake card base that's just four and a quarter by 11. I scored it and folded it at five and a half. And then I cut a sec second piece that is uh, four and one quarter by five and a half long. And I'm just going to use liquid glue to adhere this to the front of your card. Remember, you do this so that you can have an embossed card front without actually embossing the front of the card. Because sometimes when you do that, it it loosens up the, the um, strands of the paper enough that it kind of warps it and makes it a little... It does make it weaker, certainly, because it's it's been stressed a little bit but it also can warp it and change the shape. So by doing this, you get the same effect without the warping. All the good, none of the bad. I've got dimensional covers everywhere right now. Y'all, it looks like, hey Charlotte, <laughs> it looks like um, maybe Multidimensional Mary is the front runner. I don't know why, but it's the front runner, I think. Although Transmittalator Mary is working out pretty good. But I was thinking I could be like the Terminator where he had, did you know that in the last Terminator movie, he, his name was Carl. He had adopted the name of Carl because he didn't want to be the Terminator anymore. He, so now he was Carl. So once you put that on with your liquid glue, you're going to just check on the inside to be sure that it's all flush. And I've got a little extra right there. So I'm just going to put it in my trimmer and fix it. You could probably leave it without doing that, but that would it would make me insane, so I'm going to fix it. So I'm just going to put that left side at the four and a quarter mark, make sure it's straight, and then trim off that little bit of an edge right there. All right, there we go. Now it's parfait. We'll put that away because I'm going to need it again in a second. Okay, now I used my stitched shapes, my stitched rectangle dies, sorry, and yes, the queen of made up words, exactly correct. Um, I took the second to largest die in that set and I cut one out of two of the designs. You can see what was on the other side. Um, and I'm just going to adhere them with some liquid glue to my card front. I love these angled panels. I, I think that could be possibly, with the exception of over the top collages, it could be my favorite design element is angled panels on the front okay so we'll just do that and then we'll do this in this beautiful paper i love it i love it i really love that the uh, so i like subtle colors maybe you've noticed that and mu more muted colors so i like the i like the regal family the best um, i love our current 2020 2022 in colors because they're kind of subtle so I like that this car, this uh, DSP has its pop of color really is Calypso Coral, and even that is, is relatively muted. So this is a good card for me, a good design for me. All right, now I also used a couple of extra things in my stash. Um, I used my favorite berries die from Poins the Poinsettia die set. Please Stampin' Up, please continue this die set. I need it, I need it. And then, from the Autumn Essentials dies, I've used all three of the uh, wheat 
image uh, die cuts, okay? And I did that ahead of time. Oh, I put a gold hoop in here because I, I desperately wanted a gold hoop in my design, so I may try to get that shoved in there. I don't know, maybe not. And I just cut some of the wheat in Bumblebee, which made sense to me, and then a few, a couple of the uh, berries in Calypso Coral. And you can see, I also cut out a couple of the little tiny dragonflies from Calypso Coral. Aren't they so cute? I love them. Okay. So all I'm gonna do here is locate my tweezers. Well, I have this wonderful organizational tool right off my elbow and have not, I don't know where my tweezers are. I've got to have my tweezers. I'm sorry, but I cannot function without my tweezers. If I do not have much, oh, I know where they are. Yeah. Sure, they're by my big shot. Doesn't that make perfect sense? So really all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just layer these. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat apparently. We're gonna layer these like so. And then our sentiment circle is gonna go over top. But I'm going to show you a little trick. So it's gonna be sort of like that. The sketch that I'm going with, which is hand stamp sentiments today. And, um, oh yeah, hey, we would love to come see you. Um, so the hand stamp sentiments calls for a circle with a little bit off to the side cut straight as such. So let's, let me show you what we're going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is I've cut this. This is the second to largest of the circle stitched shapes dies. And I'm going to cut, uh, stamp my sentiment in Calypso Coral. And what I'm going to do, because I'm going to cut off the right side, I'm going to cheat the sentiment over towards the left side of the of the circle. Okay, and I'm going to put it just a little bit above center, like so. Okay, easy. And then I'm going to stamp these other little doohickeys. Now, I got to tell you, I am not entirely sure what these bugs are. I think they're like little stylized dragonflies. I'm thinking that because they have four wings, but I could be completely wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this up in Bumblebee. Hi, Sue. And I'm going to stamp it off once. And then I'm going to just stamp that over the sentiment like so. Okay. Now, to get my uh, flat side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card front and I'm going to line this up where I want it, like so, so that it's straight. And then I'm just going to turn it over. I'm going to hold it in place and turn it over like that and take a pencil and make a line on that circle. Okay, then I will pull my trimmer out and I'm going to line my pencil mark up with the trimming channel of the trimmer and there I have my straight right edge. Just to like that, the bing about the boom. Okay, so that's going to go lock two. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere some of our grasses. I'm going to trim off the um, some of these little stems so I don't have quite so much. Maybe, oh, that's what they are. I'll bet you. I'll bet you they're fireflies, Diana. That's a good call. That is a good call. Fireflies. I hadn't even thought about fireflies. So basically, I have a lot of bugs on this. I do. I have a lot of bugs. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this these lined up and see how we're going to put them on. Like so. This is kind of what I would call kind of a modified collage. Not really over the top. Not really over the top. Some people might say it's over the top. You guys know that collages are easy, right? I mean, they are. They look like they're not, but they're actually pretty simple to do. Okay. 
So I like how that's kind of looking. Let's see how it looks once we put our sentiment on top. Yep, I like how that is. Okay, so I'm just going to pick that up and then just kind of more or less put these back on with glue. Oh, they're so beautiful. I think they're supposed to be dragonflies seen from a distance. That could be too. I've I was ne we have a lot of fireflies here and they are wonderful in the summer because it, it does look like the whole forest is kind of sparkling. This year they were really busy. Sometimes they'll get right up against the screen and they'll they you can tell they're holding onto the screen, I don't know, watching TV with us or something. I don't know. And they're just like blink, blink, blink. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. So I am attempting to make glue come out of my <laughs> Apparently, I'd left it a little too open, a little too long. A little too open, just a little too long. Because I wasn't getting any glue on there at all. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to stick him back in place. And stick him down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick... i put that on last. I'm just going to pick those up like that and hold it with my scissors. And just get a little glue on all of the stems. All of the stems so that it will all be adhered down when I put it back in place. Mary's version of the press and seal technique. There we go. Like so. Just wanted to be a little bit obstinate. That's fine. You can be obstinate. I don't care. I'm just going to cut you then. I'm just going to cut you then. All right, and then we'll put this last little guy on. Like so. All right, give him a little push. How was my party? Oh, the party last weekend. It was lovely. It was um, very nice last Friday. Um, there were more people than I thought, but it was a it was a birthday, so of course there were a lot of people there, and it was fun. It was nice. We ate pizza and we ate cake that was wonderful. Do y'all have Publix? Anybody have Publix where you're from? I, I'm not real sure where everybody's from, but she had gotten a cake called Raspberry Decadence. You do the math, and it was quite yum. So I am taking some dimensionals here, my little pieces, and I'm sticking them to the card front versus to my um, sentiment circle. And then I'm going to adhere that with those, these with that, with those and these and those. Yeah, Publix Bakery, they are the best. They really are. I know, Linda, right? Isn't the paper beautiful? It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pull this to me so I can make sure. I'm just lining up this cut edge with the edge of my card front. M more or less. Hopefully more more than more or less with any luck. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's set that aside. And I have somewhere... I pre-stamped one of the dragonflies in tuxedo black because I wanted it really, really black. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip. For those of you who do put stickers on your stamps, these two stamps are exactly the same, the, except that the inner lines of one is different than the other. So when you go to put your stickers on, be sure that you're putting the correct sticker on the correct dragonfly. It kind of took me back when I, when I saw it. I was like, ah, how am I even going to know? I don't even know how I'm going to know. But this, that's how you know. It's the little lines inside the wingas, okay? So all I did is I stamped him before y'all came in tuxedo black. And now I'm going to take my light, misty moonlight uh, Stampin' Blend. And I'm going to color the wings. Now, you know, you guys know this is a lot of colors for me on one card, right? I've got Crumb Cake, Mossy Meadow, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, and Misty Moonlight. And here is what told me, what gave me the courage, if you will. Look at this card, this color. It's got 
Blackberry Bliss, Mossy Meadow, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, and Misty Moonlight, all on the same piece of paper. Use the expertise and the knowledge of the Stampin' Up! demonstrators, y'all. And they know a lot about color and putting colors together and what is okay. And so that gave me the courage to put all these colors, one, two, three, four, five colors on one card, which is crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to use the light blend and I'm going to try to be a little bit careful. A little bit, a little bit careful. And I'm going to color the wings with this blend. And then I'm going to use the color lifter. Don't worry, this is the only coloring we have to sit through. Mary, I just added water to concrete and now I'm trying to watch it dry. Get on with it, girl. Okay. So what I was saying is that like the Terminator, I think I could be I could be multidimensional Mary, but in my alter ego life, I could be the transmutilator. What do you think? The transmutilator. I'll be back. I'll be back with more dimensionals. Yeah, that was a pretty bad Terminator impression, really. But it's okay. Because that's not my day job. Or my night job. So it's all good. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, there are definitely some... <laughs> Getting past the bakery is really, really hard. Uh, the mini 21 catalog, we're going to be able to see a PDF of that as we get closer to the on to on stage for for demonstrators, right? Um, the customers, we won't be getting for customers that will come out, um, I think, at the end of November. I'd have to look that up. OK, so now I'm going to take my lifter, the brush end of the lifter, and I'm just going to go kind of in the middle of the wings. Now, this is some real high-end artsy stuff right here, you guys, so be sure you're taking notes. Now, you guys know that it will be, I'll be mailing out mini catalogs to my customers, so if you've ordered $50 or more from me in the last year, you're already on the list. If you're not sure, give me a holler and we'll check and see. Or if you'd like to be on the list, you know what to do. And by that, I mean you should order from me. Okay, now I'm going to punch him out. Punch him out with the punch. I love this punch. Look, I was so impressed. This, you know, sometimes punches and images you have to really kind of work with to make work, but look how perfect that is. I mean, that's, that's straight up. That's legit right there. I like it a lot. Make a little bit of adjustment just to be sure it's as legit as I'm saying it is. And then there we go. Isn't that pretty? Nice. Okay, we'll set Mr. Dragonfly aside. And then I'm going to just kind of lightly curl his little wingies. And before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm going to add a little bit of this pretty mossy meadow trim. And I'm going to do that by using some... Stamp and seal. And I'm just going to put a little strip of it right there, like that. And then I'm going to use that to wind a few loops. Okay. Now I'm get, letting it go out this way a little bit further than I think I'll need. I'd rather have to cut it off than not have enough to do what I want. And I'm going to kind of lay this down easy, not really pushing because I want to measure to make sure I've got what's gonna be a good distance on both sides of my dragonfly. And I'm gonna just extend that just a little further right there. See, if you just kind of tack it down a little bit, even with the seal, which is a very good adhesive, but even with that, you can still move it around a little bit. So what I'm looking for here is I don't want these loops to be so far apart that you can see them behind the dragonfly because I don't like that. And then I want about equal distance of my loops on either side of his wings. So kind of like, you know, that right there. All right. And I think, I think we'll let that be good. 
Okay. So now I'm going to give that a little push, pick this up, and we'll cut that off. And I'll trim that down as we get closer to being done with this card. Now, I'm going to take and put a couple of dimensionals on the back of my dragonfly. <clears throat> Hey, Stephanie. Thanks, Amy, for that answer. And uh, Stephanie, I got the same email. So, yay! I'm excited to see what we're getting. All right. Yes, it is just like the butterfly duet. Yep. Yeah, Mercy, what um, what Amy said is right. Give DS a call and and get the real answer from them. That's the safest always. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop him like so over that ribbon. And I think we'll trim that just a little bit. Make him about equal over here. Get down. Okay, now to finish off, I made those, I cut those two little Calypso coral dragonfly dudes, and I'm gonna adhere them with that. And then a couple of little rhinestones. We'll be good to go. I love this set. It's hard to say what I love more, the dragonflies or the uh, that image that we're going to, fixing to use on the inside. That is pretty freaking awesome. Hey, Diana, that's a good idea. We can't, we are going to be Zooming. We'll have our team Zoom together a little bit, but... We will not all be in one place. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out some, some Ren Astunes, and I have my little dark Calypso Coral blend, and I'm going to color these, five of them. Did you guys know you could do this? You can also color pearls and enamel dots, just so you know, with your blends. Okay, so I'm just coloring all of those. And then I will use my tweezers to pick them up and tuck them around my collage. This is one of my favorite little elements to put in a collage is some gems or some little pearls right up inside to add to the collage flavor. The kind of a, it's kind of like uh, abundanza. Just a little extra something, something. Not one of those things where people go, oh, look, she has rhinestones. But it's there, and your brain kind of knows it, right? Okay, so that's the front. We'll set that aside. And I've got a piece of Whisper White and that gorgeous wildflower image. And really, this is such a simple inside. I'm just going to ink it up with Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to stamp it on the bottom of this panel, and then I'll ink it again and stamp it down here. And while I've got that out, I'm going to do the same on the front of my uh, Whisper White Medium Envelope, double checking that I'm putting it on the bottom and not on the top up. Not saying I've ever done that, but I totally have. Thank you, Diana. Okay, there we go. And now I can set that aside and close this before I have a white t-shirt moment. Y'all know what that is, right? I cannot wear a white t-shirt. Well, I can't really wear any t-shirt without a spot being right on the front of it, but a white t-shirt is just like screaming to the universe. Make me have a spot. Put a spot down. Okay, so I've just inked with Bumblebee, my dragonflies slash lightning bugs slash... We don't really know. These could, this could be just no seams. You don't know. If we, have you ever seen a no seam? No. So you don't know that they don't look like that. Okay. So I've stamped it off, and I'm just going to add that in right there. And then we'll do the same over here. There we go. Look here. When you when you ink and stamp off and yak, you get that light. And then if you ink and stamp off and just stamp, you get that. See the difference? Yeah. Okay. 
So there you go, uh, a little bit of a learning curve. Ah, well, there you go. So now you're all ready to make this card if you want to, yay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just adhere this to a bumblebee mat. Okie dokie. Look at that. Something is happening here. I don't want to say it out loud yet. Once I get everything put together, I'm going to say what I was just thinking. Okay. So just don't let me not go without saying what I was just thinking, but I can't say it right now. Okay. What I can say is I do have a sharing Thursday thing going on. If you will take a picture of your craft table, do not by any means clean it up take a picture of your craft table as it stands now and post it on my business page i'll be drawing tomorrow for a pack of champagne rhinestones of course i can't send them to canada or anywhere else like that australia but i'd still love to see your craft spot okay so there's our card so pretty oh this is going to be a good set this is going to be a good set this is how we do it i don't know why that made me think that okay so now I'm just going to put some more of that mossy meadow on my flapper, on my envelope of flapper, my envelope of flapper. There we go. Maybe they're big gnats. It could be. I think that's what noceums are here is, is big gnats or little gnats. I don't know. I don't really know how big a gnat is. I'm assuming pretty small. So would a noceum be bigger or littler than a gnat? I, this is what I don't know. These are the mysteries of life. We need a biologist or something. Okay. And there, as they say somewhere, you have it. And what I was going to say is, this is the first time in a long time that I have not borked something making a card for y'all. Woohoo! She did it. All righty. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek. This will be coming for the mini in January, so you'll be wanting to watch for it. And I hope you'll grab it up right quick like a bunny because it's a good one. It's a good one. Did I show you all of the sentiments? Scott, you're an inspiration for a true friend and may good things grow all year long in addition to the thank you for your kindness. So it's got a nice little mix of sentiments for you. Okay, now I'm really done. All right. Thanks, guys. I will see you on Saturday evening on my Facebook page at 7 p.m. Eastern. Bye.